for this problem, I'm not going to be able to show all the work for it, um, but the idea is we have to uh, break this weird shape apart into its four, into four different sections. That's um, the one that's in each quadrant. And um, there's a lot of estimation that we can do here. I mean, we, not even estimation, but assumption. We know that since this is a uniform density, that the center of mass of each of these sections, my stylus doesn't do what I want it to do, are basically in the center of each of those, those plates. Okay, and they give us enough dimensions that we can figure out um, where those center points are with respect to the origin. So if we were looking at this object here, we have to figure out how far over it goes. And for the x component of that object's center of mass, as well as how, uh, um, how far up it goes for the y component. Now, since this is a um, uniform density, and it's a two-dimensional object, what we can do to figure out the center of mass is substitute um, the area in place of the mass. And the x is going to be the, the location of that area, the center of mass of that area. So we have four, so you're going to have the sum of all four. and then all over the total area. Okay. Um, so you just use the dimensions they give you, whether it's up here or on the, the image. Calculate each of the separate areas and I would organize it, so I would just right off to the side, A, area one is just going to be, so area one, if I keep that uh, the quadrant one is area one, I would have 20 centimeters times the uh, three centimeters, all right, and that will give me my area. And just list those all out. And then you can figure out what the total area is and just keep that there so that it's easier to do your calculation. And if I wanted to figure out the location there, I know that Y1 is 14 centimeters from here to here, and Y2 is 3. So um, from the axis to the bottom of that shape is going to be uh, 11 because right, it's the 14 minus the 3, so from here to here is 11. And then if we cut y2 in half, we get 1.5. So the center um, in the y direction for this block is going to be 12.5. Um, so the y component of a1, so we're going to have to do the same equation. all over the total A here uh, again, and you would just have the 60 times the 12.5. And it's positive, so keep it positive. Um, for the X component, they tell us X1 is 20, so we know that that center in the X direction is going to be 10. And you just have to do that for each of them. If you're in uh, the second quadrant, your X um, position of uh, the center of mass is going to be negative, so make sure you include the negative there. The areas won't be negative, simply just the coordinate of the center of mass of each of the separate areas. I hope that helps.